What is going on guys? Welcome back to Wrench and Rip. It has been a minute and uh, it's a big day today because it's actually reveal day for the old 79 Moto Bikane moped. I've been working on it for a while. I have filmed here and there. Uh, you'll see how much I filmed in this video, but uh, I wanted to show you guys the final product today. It turned out super good, cleaned up super nice, all original chrome, all original everything except one part, which I'll show you, um, but came out super good. So just enjoy this montage here of it looking old and dirty and dingy and then looking super fresh and new. And also, I invite you, hey, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys after this little video montage here. deep into polishing day. It's actually the second day I'm out here polishing this thing up. You can see I actually got the seat off right now and all the racks. Seats over there. I just couldn't quite get to all the uh, all the stuff underneath with that on so I'm gonna keep on trucking here. I did do the bars. Look at those things. They're like brand new. Gauges, the headlight, fender, and uh, that's just rust removed. That's not polished yet. So I will go over these again with some polish. Right now I'm just using some fine steel wool and some uh, WD-40 to uh, get the rust off. But I will show you guys once this is all polished up. A few hours later. Man, she polished up nice. I did these too. Starting to look pretty fresh. I actually uh, used some actual polish on those too, not just the steel wool, but this thing's really clean up good. Old chrome, you just can't beat it. Oh yeah. a super rewarding project this one because everything was so nice underneath you can see like I mentioned before all this chrome here now it's not perfect but that's original chrome from the late 70s I mean and it was it was rusty and crusty before and it polished up super nice only took about uh, 15 packages of steel wool and three cans of WD-40 <laughs> and then some polish afterwards, but um, let me go over kind of what I had to change, and that's gonna take me all of about five seconds because 
The only thing that needed changing on this whole moped was the fuel pet cock. That was it. The old one, uh, when you would turn it off, it was still on and you know, the old car would just kind of leak gas out onto the ground. Uh, but that solved that problem. That's literally the only thing I had to change. I did also change a spark plug. Does that even count? I don't really think so. Everything else, all original. No, it's got its bumps and bruises. Not for me, I promise. But, man, this thing is just so cool. And everywhere you go with it, people just want to you know talk to you about what it is yeah you know, it's just so kind of unique looking I mean not too many people ride mopeds anymore anyways especially not around where I live but this thing just has a certain presence to it it's really it's really different and it's really cool and I know uh, some of you might have watched the first video on it but um, I'll go over some of the other extras that this one has uh, that I haven't seen much on uh, in my research online. Uh, the mag wheels, original French mag wheels. Uh, I have not seen many, if any, with the mag wheels. Uh, so that's a cool feature. Uh, this copper color, that's what they called it back in the day. Um, that's also pretty rare. And it is a 50, so it's got the big engine. And uh, I haven't seen very many also with the full rack, uh, original racks either. So it has the luggage and the, and the racks for the kind of saddlebags. Um, it's even got its original tires, guys. Original Michelins. And I have the original registration and the toolkit and stuff in there too. It's just crazy. And everything's just... Everything's just... Primo. I did new grips too, so I lied. There's another thing I had to do. Everything else though, I mean, minus those few consumables, it's all original. Gosh, it looks so good. Look at that. Look at that little expansion chamber. That is just awesome. And I probably run uh, four, five, six full tanks of gas through it, which this thing gets like. 180 miles to the gallon or something <laughs> something ridiculous um, Yeah, I mean it runs like a top. I haven't had a single issue with it. I've been uh, Greasing it in a few spots. There's a grease port right there There's also a grease port inside here um, You have to use a little needle fitting on uh, the end of a grease gun to shoot the grease in there, but uh, like a pump in there every few rides and, uh, and that's really it. It's just, it's like a time capsule. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this, uh, this thing transform. I know I didn't get tons of footage of me doing the actual work, but let's be honest, who wants to watch some guy, like, polish metal with steel wool? I mean, that's like, that's really boring. So I just figured I'd cut to the chase, get it done. And show you what it looks like at the end, which is this. Truly a work of art. Back when uh, people cared about how things, how things looked and the quality of the components and everything. Just, can't you see it? I'll end with this. My favorite view. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, we have around 600 subscribers right now. If you want to add to that number uh, and get in early on the action, um, I really appreciate it. Till next time, guys, keep wrenching, keep ripping. We'll see you guys next time.